Hey there, this is Reggie. In this quick start guide video, we're going to show you how to schedule using Social Report, as well as give you an introduction to our scheduling features. Let's head over to our dashboard. Here you'll see that we're starting with the new project called My Business. If we head to the Profile section, you'll notice I have a few social profiles connected. A Facebook page, Twitter profile, LinkedIn, and Instagram. We'll be using these in our example, but you can find a full list in our FAQ section. There are a few ways to start composing a message, but let's start with the basics by clicking the Compose icon at the top. We'll write a message and include a link here, which will give us a nice preview of the link itself. We can make some modifications to the title, the description, and even swap out the image. We'll have the option of choosing something already in our media library or uploading something from our computer. You can upload videos and even connect external folders like Dropbox or Google Drive. We have a built-in image repository powered by Pixabay and Giphy with a ton of images and GIFs for you to pick from. Once we select the media to use, we'll be able to select the target profiles we want to publish to. For scheduling, we have some basic options like saving as a draft or publishing it now, and also many advanced options. For now, let's click on Publish Now. This post will show up on our calendar in light blue. We can click the Refresh button on the calendar, and as soon as the post goes live, it'll turn into a dark blue. From here, we can click on the post, and to get an idea of how the post turned out, we can click through the date link on each network. For example, let's check out Facebook. And then, let's check out how it turned out on Twitter. With Social Report, you can even organize your posts into content groups. This can be very helpful in visualizing the categories of posts from the calendar, and even give you the ability to get reports on engagement on a per content group basis. Now let's look at some of our more advanced scheduling options. We'll compose another message. We'll even add a mention of social report. You'll be able to choose from a large list of emojis in our emoji library, and then select your target profiles again. But instead of clicking publish now, let's click on advanced options. The first option is going to be to add to queue. This revolves around our posting schedule, which allows you to specify the days of the week and times of the day where you want content to be scheduled. This way, instead of manually selecting a date and time each time you want to schedule some content, you can select Add to Queue and the system will automatically find the next available slot and schedule to it. If you want to learn more about the posting schedule and ways to find the optimal times to post to your channels, we recommend you check out some of our Help Center articles on that. Jumping back into the advanced scheduling options, we can definitely choose to post it now from here, or post at a future date, or even post a recurring message, which can come in handy if you need to have the same content post a few times, like maybe a have a great weekend message every Friday. Optimal time will look at the last three months of engagement and give you the best times to schedule on each of those days. If we head to the next screen, we'll first be given the option to select if we want to add this post to our evergreen library. We have videos and articles explaining this more in depth, but in short, this feature allows you to automatically republish content to get the most reach for your posts. We have link framing, which allows you to insert a header or footer whenever you publish links to third-party content, sharing your logo and a call to action button, making sure that your audience stays engaged with your brand. We'll show you how that looks in a bit. We can add Facebook call to actions, or a check-in, or even select multi-image or carousel options for Facebook. In clicking Next, you'll be given the option to disable the automatic link shortening. We don't recommend you disable it, as this will reduce the clicks and engagement data we give you, but if you need to disable it for whatever reason, you can do so from here. Keep in mind, you can replace our built-in link shortener with Bitly, or even implement your own vanity URL. You'll find an article in our Help Center about this. Next, we have Advanced Audience Targeting, which allows you to schedule this post organically to specific audience. Once we schedule it, this post will show up in the calendar as well. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll go ahead and publish this now. Let's preview the post. It looks almost identical to the previous, except that we used link framing, which gives us a nice header with our logo and call to action button. Some other advanced scheduling features include our bulk scheduler. Here, not only can you upload a CSV file or Google Sheet with content, we can also have Social Report pull content from a blog's RSS feed, which you can quickly schedule for publishing. 
You can also have Social Report pull content from other social media profiles, like Instagram or Facebook. If syndicating content is what you're looking to do, we also have our content syndication feature, where you can have Social Report do the heavy lifting for you. By selecting an RSS feed or social media profiles to pull content from, we'll tell Social Report which profiles we want to be posting to, as well as when we want the content to go out. Lastly, you can insert some keywords you want to use so that Social Report can filter out the content we find from those sources in order to give you a more accurate selection of content to post. If we scroll to the bottom of the dashboard, you'll find links to install our Chrome and Firefox browser plugins. This will allow you to schedule content right from your browser if, for example, you come across a great article and want to share it quickly while skipping a few steps. We have a ton of videos and help articles that go in depth into each feature we talked about here. Make sure to check them out. And if you have any questions or need specific help, reach out to our support team.